Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. Um, I put up a video today, so I'm not sure when this one's going out, probably later the week, next week. Um, but my stepsister has asked me to do a natural makeup look. So I thought that would be perfect for me to use my Revolution Fierce palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. Nice beautiful beautiful neutrals a couple pops of color here and there but i thought that why the hell not why not give it a shot you were going to film with it anyway and try and do something kind of natural looking so that's what i'm going to do um if you're interested in seeing a quick little tutorial slash review on this palette then keep watching okay first things first i'm going to go in with my mac paint pot in the color painterly and i'm using a brush to apply this so excited i hit pan on this so i can use my soft ochre because I'm really keen to try that one out and see how I like it. See how I like it. I don't know why I said it like that. It's so cold in here in my beauty room that my that the paint pot doesn't want to come off onto the brush. So I'm kind of struggling. Struggle bus. Struggle bus. So, how have you guys been since my last video? I've been doing okay. Been experiencing a little bit of pain, a little bit of depression. But, you know, with everything that's going on in my life, it's not unexpected to have some really sad feelings about certain things but uh to top everything off my husband's computer decided to shit itself and now we're waiting on a dell technician to come out to our house and take a look at it and service it thankfully we're still making payments on it and it's an issue with the hard drive um it's just carked it and so um because we're still making payments on it they're coming out and fixing it for free thank god because we can't afford another hard drive or memory card or whatever. So, phew on that. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this taupey shade right here and just gonna grab a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And a good floofy ended brush. I'm using the E2 from ColourPop. It's this nice, let me see if I can, there we go. It's this, you can't really see it against my hand, but it's this nice little floofy ended brush. It's a nice big dome to it, so it can really uh, fan the product out on your eye. So I'm going in with that taupe shade. There's very little kickback in the pan. And I'm just going in my crease with that. Now this is very close to the shade that I already have on my eye. And this is just like mimicking natural shadow, basically. So you can see it's almost mimicking the outside of this. On camera it's going a little more orange, but in person it's definitely that soft taupey kind of color, which is really pretty. Now I can't really do a soft natural look on my face because I literally have no light coverage foundations because I am a full coverage kind of gal. So I'm going to try and use like a lighter hand when putting it on. I'm going to use the trick that I learned from Robert Welsh, which is to put it on the back of your hand and then buff it into your skin and kind of build from there where you need to and your problem areas and that sort of thing. So this is a really fucking pretty shade. They don't have shade names on the palettes, so that I can't exactly tell you what color I'm using. I think this would be shade number nine in the pan, or palette I should say, but so far this color payoff is really good. Like I said, it's very light, very gentle color, which kind of mimics my own natural shadow, which is really good. Okay, the next color I'm going to go in with is this deeper brown shade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of, actually what I'm gonna do real quick before I do that is I'm gonna take, hmm, there's not, there's a shimmer white in here that I think I don't wanna use on my lid. I think what I'll do is I'll take this shade right here and pop that on my lid. And for that, I'm using a Morphe 209. Um, it's a, it's almost like a flathead brush, but it's, it's a shading packer brush, so use that little shimmer shade that's very close to the original shade that I put on and I'll just put that on my lid just lightly dusting that on the lid again a little bit of kick up in the pan but nothing drastic that you wouldn't expect from an eyeshadow palette well that's a nice shade that's a really nice shade and it's got just this hint of shimmer which is really pretty so I'm going to take this this shade here and I'm going to put that in my crease just to deepen that up a little bit. And I'm going to put it, hug it like really tight in my socket. 
just to give a bit of dimension to the eye look. The funny thing about natural makeup is even if it's natural, it can still be a little bit dramatic, which is a-okay in my books. This is not the color I thought this was going to turn out to be. This is like gone full terracotta and that's, I was hoping it was going to lean more brown, but it's gone more orange. So not quite what I had in mind, but we'll work with it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I am going to take the dark, the dark shade here, which is this one. Bring that back a little bit. I'm going to take this dark shade and I'm going to use a pencil brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dust that on like the outer third of my eye, really close to the lash line, almost using it as a liner. And then to finish it, I'm going to have to finish the rest of my face, but that's okay. My hands are so shaky at the moment. <laughs> my mirror is going like this. I'm kind of going to use the, te the same technique that I learned from uh, Lisa Eldridge's video that I did um, a couple videos back, but so far this is turning out really well. Um, okay, so for my foundation primer, I'm going to use my Hourglass Veil. I love this makeup face primer very much. Um, it is so freaking silky and smooth on the skin. It's amazing. And it does exactly what it says. It is just a veil of um, any day now would be great. I'm just going to take it directly out of the tube. Hope that's enough. I'll put a little bit more. That's a lot. That's a lot of primer. Did not mean to do that much. But anyway, I'm going to rub that in all over my face. I've already done my skincare. I took a shower and I feel very nice and clean. Oh God, I love this primer. <sighs> I haven't used it in a long time because I was using my Tatcha primer. But like I said, this in my last video, I think I said that this primer gives you that silky canvas to work from. But this one's like not nearly as expensive, which I like. So... I'm going to go in with my Fenty foundation in the color 145 and I'm giving it a little bit of a shake a -rooney. and then on the back of my hand I'm putting two pumps. I'm going to go in lightly with my brush and kind of just like bounce it on the back of my hand and then just buff it into the skin. And see, I'm not using the foundation to give myself like a masked look. You can still see my skin kind of peeking through in here and on this side where I have some discoloration and acne scarring. But uh, yeah, this is, like I said, I'm going in with a very light hand and just kind of trying to do a your skin but better kind of look. And I've got a breakout on my chin that, you know, you can't really see on camera, so that's good. <laughs> but it's there, I promise. Oh, and I've got this zit that's come up right here, just oh, just next to my ear, and my glasses sit right on top of it, so it is very uncomfortable. And I just noticed it when I was getting into the shower today, and I'm like, fantastic, I love that journey for me. So next I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier San Translucent Channing Powder translucent setting powder. This is my holy grail powder. I don't own any other. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. I do own other powders, but this is by far my favorite. Oh, I forgot to put on my concealer. Bugger. Mm. Uh, where's my concealer? Oh, I am at the bottom of this tube. So again, keeping in the natural theme, just doing very light concealer. I need to put a little bit more on this side, I think. Teensers bit more. And that's in the shade light 16. And I'm just going to go in with a brush and I'm just going to kind of blend that in under with a brush on my problem areas. Voila! Uh, blah, blah, blah. Concealer is done skis. So now I'm going to go back in with my face powder and lightly set my under eyes. I'm not baking because I have um, more mature skin and I find that it just it doesn't look very nice underneath the eyes when I oh god this powder I got way too much on my brush but that's okay just dust it where I need to so I've been watching Schitt's Creek again and if you haven't watched it I'm I'm gonna spoil a thing for season four they are they did a a oh my husband just got home they did a a play and they chose to do cabaret and so I've got the opening song stuck in my head which is annoying as hell but it's I, I love it because every time I think of it I think it shits creek so yeah it's it's 
It's super duper fun. If you haven't watched Shit's Creek and you're sleeping on that show, dude, you're doing yourself a big disservice. It is so good. The acting is a little... sometimes. One of the characters, I think it's Emily Hempshire, who plays Stevie. Her acting style is not quite what I would expect. It still is really good. She's still good. She plays Stevie on the show and just kind of reinforcing that shade in my crease because I'm afraid I covered up a little bit of it with my powder. There we go. That's a bit Oh, there we go. That's Petey. What was I saying? The girl that plays Stevie. Sometimes I kind of like, I'm like, mm, I don't know about that as far as her acting goes, but you know, those who can't do teach and uh, I'm, I'm a nobody. So who am I to tell, you know, a professional actress? Oh, I'm taking that brown color again and I'm bringing it just in the outer corner and I'm flicking up got a lot on my brush apparently. And it just gives the eye just that little bit of a lift. Um, but Shit's Creek is I, I've literally watched the show all the way through. Um, I'm not exaggerating, probably 10 times. It's a really easy show to watch. It's a super fun show. The message and story behind a lot of the, the arcs and stuff like that are really beautiful. And I, I can't recommend it enough. Super fun show to watch. Okay, I'm gonna take my brown liner from MAC, if I can find it. There it is. Just gonna line my lash line just where I put that brown eyeshadow. And I'm not even doing, I'm literally doing the lash line. I'm not going into my waterline, just the lash line. And then I'm gonna take that brush and dust off the excess product. And I'm gonna kind of push that into the eyeshadow that I was using. And again, flicking up at the outside corner. I can't wait because I found out Star Trek Discovery comes out on October 15th. So excited. Star Trek Discovery is a great, great show. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, the acting is superb. The, the girl that is the main character is awesome. The character actors that they've got in, they've got, is it Doug Jones? who um, does a lot of the creature characters for uh, Guillermo, del, Guillermo del Toro's movies. He's the really long, lanky, lanky um, eye monster from Pan's Labyrinth. He did Shape of Water. What was the other one that he did? Oh, he was Abe in Hellboy, which I loved. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my waterline and just line that outside corner. The same, going the same distance on the top that I did with the brown eyeshadow. And then let's see, what do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? Need to kind of buff that a little down into, so it's not so harsh, bringing that eyeliner into my waterline, because it is a very stark line, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm using my finger to kind of help that out, because it's very harsh, that line. So I'm thinking of doing the Sephora shopping list thing after this video. So I'm gonna film two videos in one day, which is pretty well unheard of on my channel, but feeling pretty good. Like I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling like I'm not, I'm feeling depressed, but I'm still motivated, which is really odd for me. Usually when I'm depressed, it just craters. There's like, there's nothing that will pull me out of the funk. It's just a matter of, oh, God powder all over my chest. It's just a matter of time kind of thing for me for these types of things to work themselves out. So feeling pretty good actually, all things considered. I'm going to go in with my Casino Bronzer from NARS. Not going to forget it this time. I'm just going to bring some color to my cheeks. I love this bronzer. I love, love, love this bronzer. It's such a perfect shade for me. And before, like, I thought that I would hate using bronzers. The only reason I started using bronzers was because that's what I saw everybody else doing here on YouTube and on Twitter and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I have to get a bronzer, but I hate, hate shimmer in bronzers. Hate it. I hate shimmers in my eyeshadow. Well, not eyeshadow, in my blushes is what I was trying to say. I hate um, shimmer in my blushes because I've got such big pores that it literally just accentuates every single thing that I hate about my face. So yeah, when I found, cause I was at Mecca and the girl suggested another bronzer and I looked at it and I'm like, nah, it's a satin and I will not put a satin on my face cause I'm oily, big pores, not happening. I'm gonna bring that onto my nose, my little schnozola. My mirror is so dirty. 
So dirty, so, so dirty. It's a dirty girl. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. Use this a couple times now. I'm gonna use this especially today because it is a volumizing mascara. And I just got it all over my face. And I'm just gonna focus mainly on the top and just a kiss of it on the lower lash line. And this is just adding a little bit of drama to the eye look. Okay, and I'm just gonna add this to the outer corner of my lashes on the bottom. If my hand would stop shaking, that would be fan-fucking-tastic. Okay, so that's basically the eyes are done. Next, I'm going to go in with my brow product, which is the ABH Brow Definer. And I'm going to do just the lightest brush through, just kind of filling in the gaps. So nothing too dramatic. And just light strokes to the front of the brow. See? That's all. That's all I'm doing. I almost wonder if I need to invest in like a brow gel, but my eyebrows lay really nicely naturally. So I don't really think it's a product that I need to add to my repertoire, but sometimes I feel like the look calls for it. And other times I'm like, no, no need for a brow gel. My eyebrows, like I said, they, they stick really nicely naturally. So I don't necessarily need to worry about that per se. So eyebrows are done. Liner's done, highlighter, I'm gonna use my Revolution Glass Mirror Illuminator. Very pretty peachy kind of a, kind of a vibe. This is not the most, I thought this was gonna be, for some reason I forgot what the color looked like, but that's what it looks like on the cheeks. So it's super pretty, very reflective, very nice. I'm just gonna put some down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose, and then just above the brow, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, blush, I'm gonna use the Peach Primrose from Flower Beauty. This is what it looks like in the pan. Um, really pretty peachy blush, and you don't need a whole lot on your on your brush to get good color payoff. Tucking that on right there. Did this in the wrong order, but eh, is whatever. So see, just a pretty little peachy kiss. Love this blush. Love this blush. I was I bought it on the recommendation from Nikki Tutorials, who said it was her fa favorite blush. So I was like, well, if Nikki Tutorials signs off on it, then it must be good. So I went and bought it, and I use it almost in every one of my videos. I I love it it's so pretty for my lips I'm gonna go in with the NYX vanilla sky lip liner very pretty very peachy natural kind of looking and then I'm gonna go in with Gerard cosmetics wild berry tart liquid lipstick just the lightest little see pretty color and I love the way these smell I can't it's like I can't quite place the smell but it's a it's a really pleasant smell to have um so yeah I think that's it to be honest, I think that's the end of the video. Anyway, this is gonna be a short one, and I the eyeshadow palette worked out really well. I had no issues with it at all. My makeup went on very easily. Um, didn't do a whole lot, but skin looks amazing. This Vanish uh, Veil Mineral Veil uh, Foundation Primer is stunning. Yeah, so it, that's the end of the video. A uh, natural little look that my stepsister asked for, so I hope that it wasn't too many steps and that it wasn't too overdone, but this is what I would consider a natural kind of looking makeup. This is not like really overdone, really like blown out, lots of um, color and that sort of thing. But this is really pretty. I like this look. I learned something from the Lisa Eldridge video and I'm really happy that I was able to bring it into another one of my videos. So that's it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I will see you soon. Bye.